Hey folks, I have this switching power supply here, and this is what it looks like. And this is what this tag says. You can see it there, that's what it is. And I wrote it out here just in case it's not very viewable through the camera lens. It doesn't have any basically name other than that HBPCM01. And then of course, here's the front of it. Have your switch. Lighting's not the best, folks. And then of course this part here opens up. That's the handle type thing. Which is not really important for my use anyhow. And you can see the outputs are there. 5 volt, 42 amp. 12 volt, 38 amp. Oh, power 1. I see it now. Let's see, you can see the power 1 right. Where are we at? Right here. Power 1. So I guess it's a power 1. And then that's the, the number of it. And then what I wanted to tell everybody is that I actually have the uh, pinouts for it. And also, there are some pots in there, pods, that can be turned. Now this side here I didn't cut out. But on this side here, I notched it out. And I, you can see it. There's one of them. And there's also another one right here, but deeper with inside. And exactly <clears throat> on the other side, which I didn't cut out yet, there are two more. So these two here are for the current and the voltage for the 12 volt side and these two here are the current and the voltage for the 5 volt side. Now on the voltage adjustment there's not a tremendous amount of movement maybe a 5 or 10 percent up or down movement but that's about all. So you can't rise it too high or lower it too much. And on the back side, you can see the configuration here of these pins. Now I didn't go any further as far as sticking any leads out to be able to, you know, hook them up to something. But it, they're labeled there, right? So you can see those four prongs here. The two middle ones on the inside, on the center, are the negative, and the two outer ones are the positive. And that side is the 5 volt. And on this side is the 12 volt, and it's the same. The two ones towards the center are the negative, and then the outer two are the positive, and that's the 12 volt side. And then of course, this center portion here are your pins, all the pins. So in what they are, Now, if you look at this plug, you can tell which ones Let me just move this a bit here, see if I can get a better view. So basically what it is, are the very bottom, the very bottom two on the right hand side and if you go over it will be the fifth one or the second one in so the second one in and then the last two on the bottom row all three of those you can see they all go together like so now of course the switch can be put in in between them you know or, or however else a person want to do it I'm not completely finished with this I just discovered the pinouts and I wanted to share that because I researched um, this particular power supply and I found nothing on it. So being that I located the pinout on it and I got it working fine, like it should be working, I wanted to share that pinout configuration with those of you that may have a, a power supply like this one. And I just had a, another plug from something different. It's a five prong. 
and this is actually six prong but like I say I mean how how a person goes about joining these pins up is really up to them this this year little connector worked out good for me and those run together and all I have to do is plug it in there flick the switch and uh, the output voltage is there and like I say these adjustable pots for the amperage and the voltage I'm not too sure on the amperage side of adjustment how much uh, control there is there but on the voltage end there's just a little bit maybe a 10% increase or decrease well thank you for watching folks subscribe if you have not and thank you very much for those that already have